Daylon, it's week two, baby. <laughs> that's how we're gonna start the. That's how we're gonna start the vlog off with you waking up. Is you ready for week two? <laughs> Me neither, man. You know what we got that's gonna be different this week? Two laps. One lap last week. Two laps this week. And then when you get back from Waco, it's three laps. That's the regimen. We gotta we gotta get in shape, man. We gotta get used to it. <sighs> so with that being said, day two, we back at it. You ready to run? <laughs> I'm not. My whole body hurts. I do not. Same thing. You do the same thing just about every day till you learn those basics. Then they teach you more skills. Then you add those to the next basics. Once you actually learn how to fight and box, then you actually, you know, practice with somebody, fight, spar, stuff like that. But you got a lot to learn just in regards to footsteps, movements, how to punch, how to, you know, everything. All of the basics. So right now you're just learning all of the basics of boxing. And then whatever you want to do after that, you do. Learn how to wrap your hands four times around your wrist. Hispanic guy who owned the gym, and then you got the guy who's outside with us. If you get tired of this, ask one of them what you can do next. They're going to ask you, what have you already done? You already did your footwork and speech day. So if you're tired of that, you ask one of them, what can you learn next?
Remember I told you, we fight, man. You can't stand in one spot. You got to move with it. You fight. They ain't going to stand there and let you hit them. Don't let them see you slacking. Frustrated? What's the frustrating part? Mm. Is it the is it the instructions you're getting? Is it the what you're doing or picking up on it? So what is? You feel like it's not clear, or you're just not picking up on it yet? Well, you got to practice at home. The footwork part, I don't know. Maybe it's with sports. You'll get it. Foot, footwork is hard, but we can practice that. Push footwork is like push-ups. You got to practice to be good at it. It ain't no way around practicing footwork. Ain't no way around practicing push-ups to gain strength. You got to do it to gain it. So, you know, you'll get it. You'll get it over in a week's worth of time. But this is the type of stuff that now that you're out of school, when you're sitting in your room for eight hours a day, because I work for eight hours, you at the house with me for eight hours. I mean, you can pick 30 minutes out today, 10 minutes out today. You know, while you got YouTube on, work on your footwork. Work on the stepping with your left foot, sliding the right, stepping forward, maybe five push-ups here and there, you know. That's when you want to get that type of stuff in because it helps you. Then you'll be like, when you come back here and it starts to go smoothly, then you're like, well, it seems a lot easier now. But you put a lot more practice in at home, so it makes it look easier in the gym. Big train coming through. But that's the end of day two.